Welcome to Dress Shop 2 Tutorials. When we launch Dress Shop 2, we see the setup screen. On top, we need to open a template, either a photo or sketch that we will reproduce in Dress Shop. We will also name the project and select a project folder that will hold all the files we will be creating. The next screen is the selection screen where we can select either a man or woman and between base garments, dress, suit, or cape. There's an import button to import an existing OBJ garment. Further right, there are buttons to open the manual, play the tutorial video, or get info. The next button opens the work screen. That shows the sketch on the left and the model and the garment on the right. On top, we have tabs such as cut, shape, accessories, materials, and stage. Each tab has its own set of tools below. On the right, there are navigational tools and a cross to orient the model. Let's start with the Cut button and the Default Line tool. First, we need to select the garment we cut and it turns yellow. Now, if we hold down the Shift key and place the Start and End dot, we can constrain the line to straight. Clicking on the Cut button again will finish the cut. We can now delete the cutoff part with a Delete button. Now we choose the Polygon tool and also constraining it cut a belt shape into the garment. We can save it as Belt. Highlighting the skirt, we save it as Skirt. Opening the Parts Library, we can see the saved items. Each can be hidden by unchecking the checkbox. Let's zoom in and make more cuts. Highlighting the top part and using the Arc tool, we cut out and delete the neckline. Using the Arc tool next, we will create a collar that follows the shape of the neckline. We save this as collar and add it to the library. The last order of business in the Cut tab is to duplicate the skirt. We select, highlight the skirt, and hit the Duplicate button. Now we made a copy of the skirt. Dress Shop 2 Shape tab. In the Shape tab, we'll be working with a copy of the skirt. We highlight it and then click on the Stretch button. This time we constrain a vertical center line. Now we right click and a square appears containing the center line. We can extend the square to the desired area by grabbing on one of the corners. Moving the slider we can either stretch or shrink the skirt until we find the right size. Notice that by shortening the skirt we see a hole in the middle. We need to shape the skirt wider so that it won't bump into the other skirt under it. Let's turn the model sideways. Highlight the skirt and the shape button. We can strain a horizontal line centered on the hem and extend the square way up. Now we can either make the skirt tighter or looser. When we are satisfied with the results, we can see that the hole is gone. Lastly, we will be using the new pleat feature to pleat the bottom of the skirt. As before, we can straight a horizontal line at the hem and create a narrow square. Moving the slider will pleat the hem of the skirt. We are done with the shape tab.